Hey, hi, hello. Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Faith. Um, I've been sick for like a week, a week and a half now. Um, my room is a disaster. I am just like tired and blah. Um, so we're gonna try and get things rolling today. Um, I had a bunch of boxes that I needed to deconstruct and take out to the recycling. Uh, literally the boxes from the dumbbells um, that I just hadn't gotten rid of. And then I went and got my nails done. And they're pink. And if you know me, I am just like not a very colorful person. I get nudes a lot of the time and then every once in a while I'll throw in a red for the holidays and the last year I found a green that I liked so I got it like a bunch of times in a row but I just have I usually just have a nude that I get done each time my room is a disaster so I have laundry to put away I have laundry to do I have an Aritzia package to unbox and like I said I would, I already took out my recycling so we're getting started on the day baby steps little by little um yeah that's that's the update right now but I'm feeling better I think I still sound a little bit nasally but <laughs> um I have the day off today and then tomorrow we're back <coughs> I also have to get groceries and stuff like that and just kind of re-up on get ready to like reset like I have pants over here these two I have a bunch of stuff on the desk that doesn't fit so my leather pants those black jeans um, a sports bra and a a pink shirt um, it's like a gym top but it's super cropped and long sleeve and I literally haven't worn it in years um, and then I have laundry to put away which like it's all clean but it's just a pile on my bed and then we will unbox an Aritzia package those are the clothes I literally wore yesterday and I just got home undressed and I don't know, just a bit, a bit of a shamble, um, but yeah, like I think I'm in a weird spot because I want to get everything clean and organized, but I think part of the problem is I need to get rid of stuff, <laughs> but I'm just not in the right frame of mind or have the amount of time available to really do it fully and completely and in those cases it gets a lot worse before it gets better and I just right now needed to get better because <laughs> I'm overwhelmed so let's go ow Owie. okay we're gonna unbox this real quick I got the coach's puffer uh, from the TNA coach's puffer from Aritzia the what's it called Oxford tan color and I got it because I've wanted it for at least a year but kind of been fighting off the urge to buy it and then recently it went on sale and it was literally like 50% off and I still thought buying it I was like, do I need it? Am I just getting it because it's on sale? Blah, blah, blah. But I really only have like two jackets. Like I have my winter parka and then I have my crop puffer from Princess Polly. Um, so this is kind of like an in-between of that because it's full length. It's actually oversized. So it's in between like a long full parka and a cropped puffer 
and it's supposed to be good for up to minus 10 degree weather which is great going into like the end of winter coming into spring so I'm excited and then it's a jacket that isn't black I bought something that isn't as black it's still a neutral this is literally the color that my nails were previously um, but that's fine so yeah, this jacket is $198, and I got it, it was on sale for $99, I got it in a size 2, um, because the reviews said that it was oversized, but now that I look at it, I feel like it's not, because people were saying that it's like super oversized, so to get a size down, because I would usually get a size 3. Um, and then I also already have like a green bomber that's kind of the same shape that I got in a size too big so I didn't want two of them but it just doesn't look massive but I think it'll still fit I just don't know how size it'll actually be let's just put it on Oof. I feel like it's perfect. It's oversized in its style of being like long and covering the butt. Um, I'm wondering if I would have wished that the sleeves were longer. Because I am a uh, like nuzzle my hand into my jacket. But, like I can still do it if need be. But just normally. This is what the length looks like. I saw um, Taylor Kruger on YouTube. She has this jacket and I think she probably has it in like her normal size so super oversized. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if I should have gotten the bigger size. Cause it just fits but I probably need that I wish it was a little deeper of a tan but it's very windbreakery material it has the adjustable strings at the bottom so you can kind of scrunch um, at the ends and then the pop what are these called pop buttons um, but they like match on the outside and then are silver on the inside oh but I think this is so perfect Oops. Um, what I was going to say is I started kind of grabbing things from my closet that I don't want to keep. Like I haven't been wearing or I don't like the way they look and we're just holding on to them. So I think anytime I come across something that 
I'm like, oh, I never wear this. Try to wear it and then come up with a billion reasons not to wear it and then don't wear it. I need to just pull it. There's stuff that I genuinely like. Um, my Aritzia funk pant. These are in a size eight. And I literally can't breathe when I sit down in them. And we thought they were gonna stretch out. But I've worn them and they're not stretching out. And so then when I go to wear them, I'm like, oh, cute. But is this an activity that requires breathing or sitting? Sitting while breathing, drinking, laughing, not being in pain for a while. And now the funk pant, at least the last time I checked, is no longer on the Aritzia website. So I can't just purchase them in a bigger size. So I don't know what to do there, but I don't wear them. So they will find a better home with someone with a smaller tummy. And then it's the whole, oh, but if you just like lose a few pounds, they're just a few pounds away from, a few inches away from fitting. Well, these are the inches I have now. So I can't wear them now. Anyway, that's where we're at. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I bought Native Body Wash and deodorant, because I need new deodorant, and I like the smell, so I got the body wash. I got coconut and vanilla. I have not used them yet, um, but a friend of mine bought Native stuff, so I wanted to try it, and apparently, Everything we use is bad for you, so. We'll see if we can change that. I just took a little trip to Winners, my favorite place, um, and I picked up like just a handful of things, literally three things. Obviously there were more things that I wanted, but in the moment couldn't justify, you know? But these things really, um, really hit, really spoke to me, it really made me happy, so here we are. So a few videos back I was at Winners and I got this like travel mug, so it has a clear top, a little black cover, and it's a travel mug, it's 500 milliliters, 17 ounces, it's a little tumbler, and it's been great, keeps my coffee hot it's supposed to keep hot for 12 hours and cold for 24 hours so my coffee really thriving here and I needed a travel mug so I had I got this a few months ago and then today I went in Twinners and they had a bottle version like it's very matchy matchy I understand and it's not even like a plain white neutral moment as I typically am but it's like simple because of the white background and like the pastel colors and it's just cute and all the girls are like dressed in white or 
like a gray taupe color with a little bit of greenery. I don't know, it was cute and this has been great so I need just a water bottle for when I'm at work and I have a bunch of random mismatched bottles that you know you either get for free or are like the last one I was using was a school branded bottle but this is not obviously so I can just live my life and have a water bottle that I can have at work and refill and the stainless steel on the inside so it'll keep my water cold and all that all that good in um so there's that and I was very excited because literally in my bag I had a plastic water bottle that was like a vitamin water let me see if I can grab it this is what I plan to use for my water bottle for the day so now we're gonna use these and I'm excited because it's like a, it's a matching set It's like on brand, but like a little spicy. I don't know. I was just glad that I could do a pairing so then it is cohesive. I'm annoying like that. Next thing I got, which I was so excited. It's just so funny because I was talking about flowers with someone the other day because we saw someone walking down the street with like the paper wrapping of a bouquet of flowers. I got a little flower arrangement. It's like three stems, these yellow flowers. I don't know what kind of flowers they would be mimicking. Obviously, they are fake plastic flowers. But they're so cute and they're so yellow and they made me so happy when I looked at them. And like this is this is the model of the type of flowers I would like. I like bloomed like full brown juicy flowers in the greenery there was also another stack of yellow ones but there was also a white set that I was going to get but obviously there was no real function of these except they really made me so happy when I looked at them so I got them I almost put them back like twice because I was like do you do you need them? Where would you put them? What are you doing with this? Whatever. I got them. They made me happy. I put back the white set. So, like, progress. Baby steps. You didn't get everything. Just a little bit of something. And then we have to put them in something, right? But I have to cut them because they're so long. Yeah, it looks like I'm under a tree. They're so long, so I have to cut them so that they're more like this and then I might keep the rubber band on them because then they're so full and luscious and obviously they're like tiered so they will stay like this <laughs> but they're so pretty so they look good from the side because they're tiered and they look so good from the top and I'm like am I getting married is this my my bridal bouquet stop okay but they're so cute uh so if you want to buy me flowers find out whatever flower this is and get them for me but these won't die and these are me buying myself flowers because they're so cute and they're so happy uh this guy was twenty dollars for this 19.99 this glass just plain jar was also 19.99 and then this guy was i think 13 12.99 uh, so I spent like 55 24 or something it came to. But oh my god, I'm just like excited about these. See, I couldn't leave them. Look at how happy I am. Anyway.